everybody's having trouble or don't want to run oil-based undercoats or oil-based paints through their spray gun. What I'm doing is spraying oil-based undercoat. Now, basically I've just covered up and this is a mist coat of oil-based undercoat and I'm spraying it with the 208 tip. It hasn't been thinned out, it's pure paint. That's pretty simple. You're just really going to do a mist coat over it. Nothing too extravagant. And what that'll do, that'll allow me to change over to water-based paint now. Once I do this, I can then um, prep these frames. These frames are so glossy that there's nothing I could do with them. Besides sand them. Because I'm using oil based here, I don't even have to sand them. So you can imagine the amount of time I'm saving. And we're going to do a scratch test here shortly just to let you know. Now you could scratch test this in about 10 minutes. And you'll be very, very impressed. None of this waiting for days. Probably 10 minutes ago. As hard as you want. Nothing is going to stop it. Let me get a light so that you can see properly. If I can find a light. No, I can't find a light. Oh yeah, here's a light. Look through here. Let's do one in here. But look at that. That hurts my hand, hurts my fingers. And that's it. That's how easy that is. Just a light mist coat over it. You know, that's still wet in there. And look at that. It's still wet. A little bit there, it's dry. It's fully scratchable. And that's after a few minutes. Five minutes probably, not even that. Yeah, and that was on full gloss enamel. These are the doors with the oil based undercoat on it. Let them sticking together. Pretty amazing stuff. So now I can change all that over to water based. So now I'll finish spraying these cupboards and then I'll come in here and I will spray finish these. Go and have a look. This is the job. Yes, I smell paint. Hmm, why do I smell paint? I'll tell you why I smell paint, because it's oil-based paint. Open some windows here, some doors, some air in here. Yeah, so this is what I'm at too. Now, Sprayed all the cupboards in. Now I've just got to prep these frames, get them all looking good. These have been all oil based undercoated. Yes, yeah, get them all um, prepped. You see the gaps and stuff. So we'll fix all them up and then they can be cut all that out, all the damage that's there, cork it all up, and then this can be sprayed with the gloss. It's the water based gloss enamel in the satin. Um, all these shelving can go back, not this room here, but all these other ones can go back today. Put all these shelves to go back into here. And these are finished. Feel bloody nice too, just quietly. And I've painted this back area here in the wall colour. We're not going to do that in the gloss. So we're going to finish off the gloss on here where the door stops. But yeah, all done, all done, all done these. Feel nice. Once again, shelves. These doors will then be 
have a light sand. As you can see lots of damage and stuff uh, where the normal gaps has let go over the years. So we'll fix all them today, put them shelves back, fix all them, get them all prepped, get them all ready, and then we'll spray these today. And we'll probably gloss the doors as well because um, once the doors are glossed, well, they can be hung. And then the only thing we've got to do then is the walls and the window frames. Um, so one window frame I actually did in here only because I, I just got round to it and done it. So that's just taped up. Um, that can be sprayed, give it a light sand, and that can be finish coated with the um, gloss enamel or the satin enamel when I'm doing these frames here. But yeah, there's a bit of work putting these shelves back because they're a pain in the ass, to be honest. <sighs> but it's such a different colour between this one here and the original colour. Um, so if I hadn't done these inside these cupboards, it would have looked a little bit odd because of the dark colour difference. You yeah, see? So that's what I'll work on now. I'll get my blade out and start ripping this. No more gaps out, looking for any defects. Uh, then once that is finished, well then I'll go in and put the cupboard shelves in because that'll give this time to dry then. Then I'll give these a light rub over, uh, rub over the doors, stuff like that. Now this is indestructible, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't even know how to, how to even say it differently. Um, don't worry about using that water-based crap. Seriously, look at that. That is just unbelievable. It's crazy stuff. And that is the oil-based uh, primer undercoat. Quick dry. So that's this stuff here. It's a Dulux One. Dulux One Step. Okay, try the power of the pair. Dulux Prep Coat and Dulux Top Coat. No, we're not going to do that. So it's a primer and undercoat all in one multi surface interior exterior use um, under any Dulux product and the big thing is it's oil based and it's quick dry stain blocking um, no sanding required on most services and that is so true you will not scratch this stuff off. hey how you going it's the end of the fourth day here I'll do a quick walk around and show you what I got done today got a bit of a mess here as you can see this is my workbench got all my tools here uh, easy to find yeah so anyhow let's give you a bit of a look um, I glossed all the door frames today and I also glossed all the doors I've hung all the doors so they're all done now that's the seal and finished and the door frames all finished and some of the window boxes are also finished I've got a couple here done I'm sort of prepping them as I go um, this one here is all prepped, ready to be undercoated and then glossed tomorrow. But as you can see, these doors have had the oil-based undercoat and two coats of the satin enamel. It's amazing how much stuff you need to do a little job. I mean, it's not a little job, but it is a little job, if you know what I mean. Like all the cupboards have been put back together. Um, this is all finished in here. I've glossed the back of this one here because it's the pantry and it's a walk-in. But the other cupboard ones I haven't glossed. I've done them in wall colour. This here is just a commercial vinyl planking I carry around with me and use underneath doors and stuff like that. We've run tape around all the bottom edges. So I'm sort of tidying up as I go. I'll get these window frames all prepped tomorrow get them finished and as I'm spraying there I'm getting some paint up on the ceiling up on the corners which is quite normal um, we don't have an issue with that so what I do is I put my gun back in the ceiling paint and I just whip around and I just give that a quick hit around them and I'll be doing it here too because I'll be painting these window boxes here yeah the whole idea of getting the doors on and out of the way is so that we can reach the walls. Um, there's no doors in the way of the walls and I'll leave the handles off till right at the end. Then I make sure that we've got all lots of um, 
uh, door stoppers and stuff, putting holes in the walls. This one's all prepped. I've got to do a little bit more work to it. Uh, once again, all prepped. This one here is finished. See, I'm sort of doing them. It's still wet, actually. I'm sort of doing them as I go, a bit at a time. Like, it's only a little one. It's no dramas. I'll leave this toilet door off because there's just not enough room in here. So that door will be just kept aside. All in here is all finished. All the shelving's put back in. Uh, this door here is all finished. Um, I'll hang the hinges on it. Now I've got to do the actual door frame in there, so that's a job for tomorrow. I can't hang this door until I do that. So I'll undercoat that door frame and then I'll gloss that door frame, but it's all prepped, ready to be um, glossed. And then this door weighs a ton. I am not kidding you. This thing has to be 150 kilo. I am not joking. Um, yeah, so I'll do that frame by hand. Then I'll find out what that pure performance is actually like to brush because I haven't brushed it before. Um, so I've got one door frame there and I've got another one around the front and around here. See, look at that. That looks pretty good, eh? For a satin enamel, it's not bad. I've got another door frame here to do as well. So this will have to be brushed. So I'll do it the same time tomorrow. I won't be taking these doors off. So I'll brush them and get that glossed and then that'll be finished around the door frames. Then, as you can see, it's all been cut out. This is all the stuff that's come out of it. You know, and all gapped sick with sicker. I've used a sicker um, gap filler. Pretty good stuff. Dries fast and I can um, I can get some decent gaps with it. Without it pulling out, it's quite good. It doesn't crack back open again. Anyhow, that's about it. So, like I said, four days. Um, these windows here all have to be prepped. Those ones there. So there's, there's actually still quite a few of them to do. One, two, three, four, five, six just in here alone. Um, yeah, seven, eight. That's a big one. Nine. See, look how big that is nine and then we've got each room 10 11 12 um, 13 probably 13 or 14 windows to actually still do so there's a bit there to do okay thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next video bye look at all this goodies now i'll tell you what I think I bought this at Bunnings. What an awesome light. Watch your eyes. Oh, that's strong.